Wei Jingsheng has learned to catch up on sleep whenever he can. The world's most prominent Chinese dissident has a punishing schedule, urging anyone who'll listen to support the democracy movement in China. And with the days ticking away before the Olympic Games, he's cranking up the pace. London is the latest leg of his tireless campaign. A series of meetings with local activists, university students and politicians. They make everyone who go through there now. Oh, good, yes, it's Stephen's gate. That's okay. the one, yeah. Good night. Now, with his interpreter and human rights group Amnesty International's China campaign manager, he's off to the British Foreign Office. The, the work we're doing on China at the moment is, especially with the UK government, is getting them to acknowledge that there's an increasing crackdown on human rights activists in China, and it always increases when you go up to June 4th, and to speak out more publicly about that crackdown. What do you hope to achieve when you when you go into meetings like this? When the Mandarin-speaking Kevin Rudd became Prime Minister of Australia, Wei Jingsheng sat up and took notice. Wei Jingsheng once had impeccable Communist Party credentials. He was born into a high-ranking military official family and brought up in prestigious party schools. He was even a Red Guard in his youth. But he became disillusioned and in the 1970s started an underground magazine and began posting articles on what became known as Democracy Wall in downtown Beijing. He pushed the boundaries harder than anyone else, but seemed to get away with it for a while, until he posted a very critical essay about the then Premier, Deng Xiaoping. Three days later, on the 29th of March, 1979, he was arrested and then put on a show trial. He spent the next 15 years in prison. Wei was released as China made its bid for the 2000 Olympic Games. But when the honor was bestowed on Sydney, the Chinese authorities locked him up again. President Clinton intervened and cut a deal to get him released after three years and deported to the US where he now lives. The Chinese leadership, of course, just dismiss you as a stooge of the CIA. What do you say to that? <laughs> Shortly after his release from prison, Mr. Wei met Mr. Rudd in 1999. He says the then opposition parliamentarian showed him his university thesis, which focuses on him and outlines his key role in the early democracy movement. It's a highly detailed dissertation which conveys Rudd's clear admiration for his strength, courage and commitment. Mr. Wei is now calling on Mr. Rudd, the Prime Minister, to resurrect his university idealism and use his influence to push Beijing to reform. Wei 
，过一段时间稍微清呃不那么太忙的时候去一趟澳大利亚，我们可能当面谈一谈这些事情。Mr. Wei is now the chairman of the Overseas Chinese Democracy Coalition in Washington, D.C. He spends his life lobbying policymakers and politicians for support, but Mr. Wei admits to a second agenda. There are other goals. The second goal is to destroy the Communist Party's image. The Communist Party wants to bring these Western countries to serve the Communist Party's image. So we must destroy their plan in the same way. We must destroy their plan. 这是我们的外交工作的两个目标。Many times on this trip, I hear people say that China's rapid development has lifted millions out of poverty, and improving human rights will follow. Mr. Wei scoffs at the idea that the economy should come first. 我想，人权是人的一种基本需要。你吃得饱，吃不饱；你挣的钱多，钱少，其实你都需要人权。这是人的一种自然的倾向。Shouldn't we just be patient and let things happen on their own? Chinese population has been given the Chinese government for 60 years. For 60 years, it has still been a very bad situation. So, time is not the solution to the problem. Because the problem is a basic problem. You have free media, you have a free press system, and you have a free legal system. If you don't have this system, the improvement is a small step, and it is repeated. 永远解决不了问题之。Amnesty International have brought Mr. Wei to London for a series of events to commemorate the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre, where hundreds of pro-democracy activists and students were killed. They wanted to recreate the iconic scene of that time, when a lone protester with a shopping bag faces off a Chinese tank. Mr. Wei was to have played the part of the protester, but he didn't make it in time, and they had to get a stand-in. But he did make it to the main memorial event across town a few days later, which was closely monitored from the Chinese embassy over the road. Hello. 看你转，好家伙，你当初那时候挺惨的。啊，对对，脸都是是浮肿的。咱俩都是牙都掉了。<笑>对，我这也我牙掉光，你看你全是假的。But in prison, he was subjected to torture, brutal, brutal physical and psychological abuse, including solitary confinement and physical attacks. He has subsequently been awarded the Olaf Palm Peace Prize in 1995, the Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought in 1996. And he is a nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize. Please welcome him to the stage. Thank you. From the Communist Party's presidency, there have been tens of thousands of people who have been tortured, and there have been tens of thousands of people who have been tortured in prison. The brutal crackdown in Tiananmen Square 19 years ago was a pivotal event in modern Chinese history, and a memory the Chinese government tries very hard to suppress. Some people say that it is already past. I want to say that it is not past, it is the thing that is still happening. Considering how hard the embassy is trying to put good spin on the Olympic Games, they would not have been pleased to hear Mr. Wei's call to arms here today. Let us work together. Let's work hard together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Wei believes that while the Chinese do not honor their promise to improve the human rights record, a precondition for holding the games, then world leaders like Kevin Rudd should reverse their decision to attend the opening ceremony. 这和你西方国家的价值观念是完全相反的，而且和你年轻和，呃，若德先生年轻的时候，他的理想也是完全相反的。所以我觉得这样做法，嗯，对他从他个人角度看是没有道理的，从国家的民族社会的这个基本价值观念看也是没有道理的，可能仅仅是对做生意是有道理的。所以我觉得这样做法是错误的。这个奥运会就像一九三六年那个柏林奥运会一样。那就是对纳粹和专制主义者的一种支持。
它带来的后果就是政治的后果，而不可能是不政治的。我觉得呃，中国政府把这项奥运会当作给自己涂脂抹粉的这样一次政治行动。Much was made of Prime Minister Rudd's raising of human rights in Beijing recently, where he used a seventh-century word to describe his relationship with China. Zheng Yu, the true friend who dares to disagree. Most analysts thought it was a brave move. Mr. Wei believes the opposite. 你要是共产党的朋友，你怎么会成为中国人民的朋友呢？这一点，共产党自己就画得非常清楚，中国老百姓也把这个界限画得非常清楚。所以，我觉得他提出这个概念是，可能是受到了大企业的很大的压力。他又想做中国的朋友，呃，又想向西方的老百姓解释，呃，我是关心人权的，所以他提出了这个很莫名其妙的、很奇怪的一个概念。我觉得这个说法不是很好。中国人普遍都听着都觉得怪怪的，甚至共产党自己听着都觉得怪怪的。Should we can we reschedule? Great. We need to also talk about the French Minister for Human Rights. Apparently, they want they want to meet. Uh, I'm just thinking, gosh, he's got such a busy program. <laughs> it's like the next thing he's going to go and speak at. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> another day, another meeting. Mr. Way is being briefed by his minders about Foreign Office Minister Lord Malik Brown. I'm, I'm hopeful that'll be quite a useful meeting. Mark Malik Brown is a, um, a fairly sympathetic human rights minister. He's interested in actually understanding the issues and seeing what the UK can realistically do about things. So um, I think we should be quite a friendly meeting. But how far he'll be able to push his other colleagues in other parts of government to um, do the things we want them to do is uh, the challenge he faces. I think. What are you hoping to get out of this meeting? Is it the same as all of the others, just pushing the same ideas, or is there a different uh, approach to this particular meeting? I hope we can reach some conclusions. The British government, I think, should do some work with the UK. If the British or the French government are really working on some things, then the time is very good. Now, the time is very good. 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 As we leave the cafe and Mr. Wei heads off to his meeting, I'm stopped by police and questioned on suspicion of involvement in terrorism. I'm just yeah. filming them. This is everything is professional filming. Huh? We believe it's professional filming. Okay. I, don't want I just wanted to get the thoughts. shot of them walking in, yeah. that's all. Can we just get the shot of them walking in? I didn't know till about 10 minutes ago what we were doing, you know? Like, like I said, you don't know from one minute to the next. News reporting. You follow the news. No, if you had a press pass, it would have helped as well. It's also difficult to get Dateline's camera into any of the meetings Mr. Way has with British politicians, not even to get the shot of them shaking hands. He really is a political hot potato. Mr. Way says they have too much to lose in offending China by being seen meeting him. 我想这个原因跟陆克文的原因差不多，嗯，也就是说他们那个，呃，一方面要向那个大企业做交代，一方面又不愿意得罪老百姓。When you met Kevin Rudd, it was also in secret? 嗯，当年他当议员的时候不会，现在我就不知道了。因为当议员的时候他可能不需要考虑那么多，但是他现在要考虑刚才说的那个问题，就是，嗯，你要是关心了人权，那么澳大利亚的资本家不高兴。你如果不关心人权，那么澳大利亚老百姓不高兴。我到现在还没有跟他进行这方面联系。上上次我去澳大利亚的时候，想他好像不是很热情。Today it's off to Cambridge University for a speech to overseas Chinese students. He begins with the disturbing trend of rising nationalism in China, which he says is supported by the government. This kind of nationalist movement has already shown some similar qualities to Nazi. For example, it is very aggressive, very aggressive, and very violent. And it is the same with all the anti-nationalism. Once it enters the anti-nationalism state, 
，他们的耳朵里已经听不进任何东西了。那么这种狂热的、极端的爱国主义发展下去会走到什么地步呢？不仅我们非常担心。He then went on to talk about organ harvesting. Because everyone knows that China is not just going to take organ harvesting, but when he criticized Premier Wen Jiabao and the Chinese military for getting to the recent earthquake zone too late. It was too much for some in the audience. So my question is whether he really knows uh, at what exactly time the, 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 the Chinese troop arrived in the earthquake region. Oh, at this point, Mr. Wei got confused and contradicted himself, losing the attention of many in the audience. But at the end, he still got quite an applause, although mostly from the non-Chinese. Any comment on that? Um, very profound and yeah. very nice thing. <laughs> then I see the student who questioned Mr. Wei's facts. So, what did you think? A bit disappointing. A bit disappointing. Why is that? Really dis disappointing. Why? Why? Well, I think you can not you choose. can see from my question because uh, yeah, well, I, I think it's That's not nice. it's not really well evidenced. Most uh, most stories he tells is about himself. It's not really some something just happening right. there. Any comment on what you heard just now? Nonsense. Okay. Nonsense. Nonsense? Really? Yeah. Well, can you tell me why? Sorry, I have no time now. No, just, just quickly. Very. I'll walk with you. Why did you, why did you say nonsense? Uh, I think she's, she, uh, he was just uh, mis misleading us, misleading the foreign countries, the foreign media to mm. convince them to overturn the. Other students agreed that he didn't answer their questions, but Mr. Wei dismisses the criticism. And he alleges that there were embassy officials sitting at the back of the theater. How do you know the embassy sent some individuals? Yes, they did. They told me to go. Do you think you'll ever get to go back to China? I think the Chinese government will not allow me to go back to China. The Chinese government will not allow me to go back to China. But the Chinese government will soon go back to China. I hope it will be very soon. The Chinese government will not allow me to go back to China.